There's... whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. There's... There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree be old as the town itself. Fairhaven, Shelby. Long enough to know I prefer the peace and quiet of the woods to town. I don't mind when your Graham comes for a visit, though. She knows when to take her leave without needing a hint. Oh. Okay. I, um, guess I'll be on my way. Hello? Who's there? I probably shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah! It's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice. 
until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then, people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. Is it time for bed? <sighs> Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma! Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Oh, my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basements that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How... Original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. It will be good to have the garden in full bloom again. Go on down to the basement under the rug. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now, uh... Is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, is Dad a witch? Or, 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 or warlock? Or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more... 
unconventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Grandma says this is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. Grandma says 